Okay, great. Now, did you have any questions about the pronunciation or the conversation? No, the conversation was okay. Teacher, I I have a question. Yes, Jenny. When we when we use or uh, time, in this case is around seven. I say around seven or seven p.m. or seven uh, or seven only. Depends which seven, Jenny. Oh, the, the correct is is say the p.m. or a.m. Correct. That is the correct way. If it's not if it's not clear, but it depends on the conversation. For example, if I say I wake up at seven, is logical seven a.m. is not necessary. Say a.m. But oh. if it's unusual, for example, I was very tired and I took a nap, so I woke up at seven. Then I have to say 7 p.m. because it's not normal. Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Hi, sorry. I was in the group with Sandra and Liz, but I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. All right, so now we have the ideas of the models. Now we're going to learn what is the function? What are the different types of models that we use? We use many different with the word have. In this moment, we're going to learn what is the difference between must have, could have, and might have, etc. Okay. This time we'll study past models for degrees of certainty. Stay and find out what this is about. Past models for degrees of certainty. So if you see here, it says almost certain. That means we use these models when you have like a 90, 95%. Okay, this is almost certain. It's not possible. Is This is when you use when it's like 5%, 10%. This is going to be, it couldn't have. Okay, and the other percentage, 30, 40, 60%. You're going to use these models, may, might, or could have. Notice that in both, we use could and could, but in not possible, we use couldn't. This means you think it's almost 0%. And could have, this means you think that yes, there is a possibility. It's okay, the different degrees of certainty. And you use yeah. cool when you are sure too. Just like, well, when it's possible. So it's like a maybe. Mm -hmm. May have, might have, or could have are all like maybes. Okay, but you use uh, cool, it explains you. It explain us that you use could not if it's almost impossible. Correct. But but in positive, you can use cool in which percent? It could have is usually you think of as an example of 60%. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Let's listen and learn a little bit more about how we use them and what is the meaning of those. It's almost certain. She must have left already. She must not have turned on her cell phone. It's not possible. She couldn't have been at home. It's possible. She may have forgotten the time. She might have forgotten the time. She may not have remembered the time. She might not have remembered the time. Her car could have broken down. Past models for certainty. 
We may use must or couldn't have. We use must or must not have when we are almost certain. We may also use couldn't have if it's not possible. Past models of possibility. We may use may, might, or could have. So remember, we may use may, might, and could when something is possible, but we don't know for sure. When you want to use may, might, or could have, this is what you should follow. Subject plus may or might or could plus have plus past participle. She may have gotten lost. I will present two situations. We want you to come up with the best explanation. Number one, your best friend is in a terrible mood today. Number two, your brother or sister is short of money again. Okay. So let's take a look and try to get those ideas together. Why do you think your best friend is in a bad mood today? When you you say mood is like her behavior, correct? It's like behavior. Something like that. It's yes, something like that. But it's more the feeling. I am in a happy mood. I have a happy feeling. I am in a sad mood. I have the sad feeling. Mm -hmm. And the question are is, sorry. why is your best friend? in a bad mood today. Oh. Um, it could happen something bad to her. Correct, Gladys. That's how we use the grammar. The grammar, we express our ideas with have. Oh, she could have broken up with her boyfriend. She might have lost her cell phone. Okay, she may have forgotten her money at home. These are the ideas. That's how we use have with the models. Uh, I I want to say an um, example. Okay. It. He couldn't have slept yesterday. Slept well yesterday. Okay. Okay. He could have he couldn't have slept well yesterday. Uh -huh. Correct. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That means it's not possible to sleep well yesterday. Good. Anybody else? Why is your best friend in a bad mood? Don't be scared. It's okay to express your ideas. Okay. So go ahead, Sandra. I, it, it will have a, a bad day. Okay. Almost correct. No, she could have a bad day. It's, it's good. She could have had a bad day. Always the verb is in past participle. Okay. So what is the correct sentence, Andrew? Um, she could have, have, have a bad day. Correct. Very nice. Good. Carlos, give me an example. Okay, uh, maybe she could have uh, drank uh, a soda, for example. Okay, so your friend is in a bad mood because she drank a soda. Okay. Is correct, Carlos? In my opinion, I believe, of course. Okay, good. Only the verb is not, uh, is remember, is 
the verb in the past participle, not in the past tense. Good idea. So she could have drunk a soda. Ah, okay. I understand. Got it. Uh, it wa was it drunk rather than drink, right? Is Okay, so is drink, drank, drunk. The correct one is drunk. drunk. Always drunk. The in past participle. Okay, okay. Okay, good. Uh, I, I can, can I mention another example? Yeah, Carlos, go ahead. Give me another example. Okay. Um, we we could we could have a dance last week. So, uh, Carlos, let me ask you the question and then answer the question. Carlos, why is your best friend in a bad mood? Okay, I think Carlos had in. Carlos, why is your best friend in a bad mood? Okay, so. Carlos is having some problems with the internet there. Luis, why is your best friend in a bad mood? Excuse me, teacher. Uh -huh, Luis. Why is my best friend in a bad mood? Correct. Uh, because uh, he could have been in a good party. He could have. He could he could have been in a good party. Okay, Luis. The sentence is correct, but it's not very logical to answer the question that your friend is in a bad mood. Did you understand a bad mood, Luis? Bad mood is I understand that one person is the is is good with with himself. Bad uh, mood is I mal is mal de humor. Por qué tu amigo está mal de humor? I I I understood that the uh, la the the, the la buen humor. I'm sorry, I made I understood. Better. No, it's okay. It's okay. That's why I say it's not logical because not for bad mood you were in a party. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. yes. I, I and then the answer I think is uh, because he 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 could have a terrible crush. He could have had a terrible two times. Have and then the verb in past a terrible part. Crash. Okay. A terrible accident, not crashed. Yes. Okay, accident. Correct. Very good. Okay. So we have some examples. We get some better idea. Right now, with your partner, you're going to use the correct sentence to complete. Why is Brian, uh, why is Jane in a terrible mood? Why is Brian got a call and looked worried and etc. So with your partners, do you want to choose the correct sentence? Okay. So why is the person? That is the idea for the present perfect. That is the idea for those models. Okay. okay All right. 3.4, 3.4. Hi, welcome. We will now study past models for opinions and advice. Don't go as we are sure this is going to be useful for you. Past models for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Giving advice. 
You could have been more understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her. Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not, plus have, plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. Okay, let's try together. Let's see if we have the correct answers. What is number one? Teacher, it was uh, a short time. Yes, it's, the idea is exactly the time not to waste it because you had- Oh, but but the, we have the problem that my, my partners doesn't have the, the, the screen. Uh, okay. Well, Watch it so. Mm -hmm. You they didn't. Couldn't... You didn't share your screen, Gladys. Yeah. I can share it, but we we couldn't finish that. We can finish the 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 exercise. No problem, you know. Gladys. In this moment, we're going to do it together. What do you think was number oh, okay. one? Okay. It's okay. What was number one? She couldn't have had a fight with her boyfriend. Please repeat. She could have had a fight with her boyfriend. Good. Very the nice. little the D. Yes. The little D. 
Excellent, excellent. What about number two? Who has number two? What would be number two? He couldn't have heard good news. Okay, good, nice. Number three, who has number three? He may have gotten a rise. Good, pronunciation, raise. Raise. What was the pronunciation? He may have got a rise. Raise. Raise. Excellent. Thank you, Alan. Great. Number four. She must not have gotten enough sleep. Enough sleep. Okay. Number five. He might not have done his work on time. Okay, good. And the last one, number six. She must have spent too much last spent month. Too much last month. Okay. Great. Let's take a look, make sure all of those are correct. It seems like we have a perfect score. Very good. Six, five is C, four is B, three is A, two is F, and one is D. It's okay, all of the sentences. Do you understand all of the vocabulary? Teacher. Yes. The letter A, he may have a go, he may have got a rise. It means that will rise, it means like a, a sense. Mm, but not with position, with money. So he may have gotten a raise, means maybe he had a bonus, an increase in the salary. Uh, yes, uh, that, thank you. You're welcome. Good. And the other ones are okay? Yes, thank you. Yes? All right. Excellent. Okay. So now we can see all of these are talking about what happened, right? So that's what we're going to do with our partners. We're going to explain different situations. What happened? Okay. What happened in the past? So why did El Salvador change from the colon to the dollar? Okay. Why did we fight the gangs? Okay. Why did we have the work? Whatever you like. But the idea is using the ideas for the past models. Could have, might have, may have, couldn't have, should have, all of these different models. So you're going to ask your partner a question. And then the idea is your partner is going to tell you their opinion about the past. It's okay? Or do you... Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, great. So we're gonna take six minutes and practice with our partner. Ask your partner questions and answer using the models in the perfect tense. This is the most important.
Hey, Carlos, did you have some problems? Carlos, did you have some problems? Okay, did you guys have any question? Yes, teacher, I have a question. And Jenny too. <laughs> yeah. Because we are asking why is the so crazy the weather mm -hmm. nowadays. So we we answer is could have um the global with uh, warming but we don't know by by, by if, the global if we can uh -huh. or for global warming warming i'm sorry jenny what did you say the question the question era could could have uh, the the weather i don't remember Gladys. No, the, no. Uh, well, the, the question, no, the answer uh, the was question. the question, the answer was it could have uh -huh. by or for the global warming. We don't know which word we can use for or, or by. The two are 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 incorrect. Is not oh. over. the okay. two are bad. Yes, oh. the two are bad. Thank you very much, Gladys and Jenny. I have the idea. I have the idea. Remember, thanks. Peter. You're welcome. You're welcome, Jen. Don't worry. It's normal. Don't worry. The important is that when you use could have, you need a verb, not a noun. Is not correct. I could have. Taco Bell, I could have Pizza Hut. So it's not correct. Could have global warming. You need an action. Uh, I could have uh, destroyed, started, begun. You need an activity of what happened. Oh, okay. Thank yes, you. you're welcome. You're welcome. So what was the question? What was the original question, Gladys? Uh, why the the weather is so crazy nowadays? Okay, so if you are talking about now, is the idea is not you have to think about what happened in the past that affect now. So, for example, the humans could have destroyed the ozone. The people could have uh, or couldn't have cared about the environment before. For example, this would be correct. Of what happened before that now you have bad global, you have bad weather. Okay, teacher. Uh, okay. That that sounds better. <laughs> Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Thanks, Gladys. All right. So now we're going to go into our next topic of again using the past models, the ones that we learned today. And now we're going to learn how to use them to give opinion, advice between real and hypothetical events. 
So now we're going to see past models for opinions and advice. Hi, welcome. We will now study past models for opinions and advice. Don't go as we are sure this is going to be useful for you. Past models for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Giving advice. You could have been more understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her. Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. Okay. Did you understand the idea? Could have been more understand. Between should have, could have, and would have? Your is for giving opinions. Mm -hmm. And cool and good is for giving advice. Correct. And all of them are the idea with have, right? And the verb in the past participle. That's going to be to give an advice. So what happened? What difference? Ah, that's when you say should have, could have, uh, I would have, example, okay? Always, always we, we, uh, we use the verb have uh, oh. with opinions, certain possibilities, advice, always. No, only use it, only use it when you are talking about the advice in the past, the opinions no, I, past. Mm -hmm. No, my, my, my question is if we use have when it's the past mm -hmm. yes that is my question correct Gladys when it's the past always we use the word have that's right so anytime you're talking about the past okay mm. so for example uh, you didn't see a movie I went to see a movie like Top Guns Top Gun was a great movie ah I say and you say, oh, I didn't see it. You should have gone to see it, okay? You could have seen it in Cinemark, okay? These are the ideas for giving opinions and advice. Yes? Okay. Okay, so imagine different situations. What would you do? Your all of these are for the idea for giving opinion and advice. To help you, we're going to give you, a, um, I'm going to give you a special link here, and we're going to try just a few moments for you and your partners to ask and answer some of the questions. Okay, so in this moment, we're going to make the groups, and we want to ask and answer the questions using models. Don't worry. The important is talking about those different situations.
Okay. We are going to stop right there. And tomorrow we are going to continue practicing using the models to express opinions and advice in different situations. Okay. Okay. All right. Have a good night. I have a, I have good, night. a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.